it in. Yeah, if we played this Saturday, yeah. for sure, uh, mainly because Banworth's hurt. Yeah. And, uh, um, you know, he got the majority of the work. Mm -hmm. uh, Ross, or excuse me, Keegan's the most game ready, if mm -hmm. you will. And that was our plan in any game. He would have been the guy to slide in. Ross would have slid up to guard. So, um, yeah, if we were playing this area, but there's so many things that can happen between now and September, and that's, that's a fun part just to see who's going to do what. And I'll say this about Cole. He's demonstrated, I think, the, uh, the traits that we're looking for, mm -hmm. uh, not only as a center, but just for, for a guy that uh, is going to play out there. So uh, can he do it or not? We'll find out this spring. But you know, I think he's, he's demonstrated that he's coachable. He's a really uh, dedicated guy and really serious about what he does. Great work ethic, so I think he's got an opportunity. At the Pinstripe Bowl, Mark Kallenberger was working at second team. Yep. Left tackle, I know you, that was break glass in case of emergency and probably move a tight end in before he'd break his red shirt. But does he fit into those? Uh, is he going to be competing for one of the five slots possibly? I, I think so. I mean, he uh, he worked a lot with the twos this year, and uh, he was on scout team as well. We had him go back and forth, but he wasn't standing around watching. He was doing things. And, um, you know, physically, he's probably not there yet uh, for, for obvious reasons. He just got out of high school. but. Uh, yeah, he's, he's got he's got the traits we're looking forward to. He's a really competitive guy, tough-minded, and yeah, doesn't back back down from anything. So he's got a lot of work to do, but uh, yeah, we really like him. What's it say about an offensive line when you go from two, three-year starter seniors to, <coughs> to to freshmen and tackles? Had there been some misses in, in your career? Well, yeah, I don't know about that. It just you know that wasn't the plan. The plan was to have our guys out there, uh, and it's funny if you look year to year. You know, I still go back to 2002. One of the reasons we had a really successful team that year is we, I think we had one guy get hurt. I think DJ Johnson's only got really missed significant time. So, uh, you know, when you can have that kind of, we, we'd have been a different team with Ike and, and Boone out there. And I say it with all, all due respect to the players that played. Uh, but, but especially at that position when you have guys that have been around a little bit. And, um, you know, just, I told you, when Boone hugged me in the, during the Ohio State game after, after the game was over, like, holy, you know, I, lo I lose sight of how, Big and strong, some of these guys are, you know, the maturity. But he wasn't that way five years ago, so you know that, that's what you lose out on. Uh, but 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 that being said, I mean, you know, the guys we had out there were capable, and um, I'm really excited. You know, again, just going back to that bowl film, you watch the film. There's so many things technically uh, that we can do better, but that's experience, and it's not just the maturity part, but experience and repetition. And um, you, you see clips of those guys really blocking good players well. Mm -hmm. Then you see too many where they, they need to. And that, that's the challenge. That's the race all players run is, you know, how technically proficient can they become and really good at what they're asked to do. And, uh, you know, because we're, we're not typically going to just line up and, and beat them in a combine. I mean, we can't do that. So we got to do it with uh, consistency. And I think that really is our offensive challenge. But uh, I, I like all three guys that played tackle for us after the other two guys were, were out.